In a world ruled by dreams, where the people have dead haunting eyes, violent thunderstorms are rampant and there's not another vehicle in sight, except for those tractors. It is up to you to take control of an ultra-realistic locomotive in a detailed railroad environment to complete the epic challenge of getting your passengers to their destinations on time. Do you have the guts to drive a high-speed train and the dexterity to bring it to a perfect stop? Download Eurotrain Simulator on the Android App Store today and give it a shot for yourself. The link is in the description. Hello and welcome to Eurotrain Simulator. So this game has recently been updated and they've got quite a few new options. Um, let's go into the options menu and start showing you what they've got. Uh, they've got a new uh, simple and advanced braking option. The advanced braking allows you to have like this handbrake thing that uh, allows you to coast into the stations really nicely. That's very helpful. So that's a big plus already. Um, as you can see, there are a lot of options here. Um, you can select which cameras are available in game. I like having them all on just because I'm, I like the cinematic experience, I guess. Uh, you can log in with Google Play here. Um, you can customize your HUD, you can set volume levels of course, uh, and also you, something quite amazing is that they've got 9 languages so far, I think they're adding more as well, so that's a cool thing, um, let's go back into English, uh, go back and uh, let's uh, demonstrate what this game is all about, uh, in the carry mode you can see uh, there are 3 tiers, well there are 2 tiers so far, I think they're working on their third one right now, like this one is locked right now, so you can't unlock it right now, but you can remove ads for a very good price, it's just like $2.00. In fact, it's one dollar and twenty-five cents. I'll have to remember uh, to do that later. And now we can see uh, tier two, for example. We can select and we can go into the carrier mode. And basically, there are a lot of scenarios here. You can see there are fifteen scenarios for one tier. Uh, I think I've done most of them on tier one, and that uh, that allowed me to unlock tier two. But you can all, you could have also uh, maybe didn't want to wait to unlock tier two, which you uh, you need to complete ten stages in tier one to do. You can also pay a few bucks, like two dollars, and you can unlock tier two right off the bat. Anyhow, let's go into scenario number three. In this scenario, you can see that you have to use the red train. Uh, you have two stops to make. Uh, it's foggy or windy outside, and it's three o'clock in the afternoon. So yeah, it does have time system as well. So you have different times of the day, and each one has a different uh, location of the sun, I guess, and uh, different brightness. But one of the new features, as you can see here, is the doors actually open, and now the people actually walk into the door, and you can see that happening. That's really freaking awesome. Uh, let's wait for these guys to board and then we can take off. They're all in. Let's close the door. Awesome. How awesome is that? And now we can drive away. Let's go full speed ahead. Uh, the cabins have been redone as well. I think they have uh, 10 trains, 10 or 12 trains, and they've all got uh, full interiors now, so that's cool. I think the interior lights as well look a bit better. That's just an observation I made. Not only that, but they, uh, the actual headlights look pretty cool as well. Look how it lights up the train. That's really nicely done. That's really nicely done. Yeah, caution ahead. That means the train station is coming up. This here that I just used to slow down here, that is the advanced braking control that they added. That just makes life so much easier. Look how perfectly we're gonna roll into the stop. That could not have been better. Do we have to reverse? No, that was perfect. Just look at that. Good accuracy. Or the arrival. How awesome was that? Now we can close the door. Get the rest of people on and close the door again and we can go to the next stop. I believe it's the final stop because we just had two stops. So here we go, full speed ahead, uh, lift off the brake and full speed ahead. How awesome is that? So yeah, this game does draw you in, into this world. It's really nicely done. I mean, just look around. There's nothing boring here. Like it's, it's got a lot to see, a lot of different variations in the buildings. This view is always my favorite though. It reminds me of the old GTA 5. GTA 5, I meant the old GTA Part 1. I played so much GTA 5. Anyhow, um, yeah, just look at the little world with by. It's just so cool. I mean, big dirty buildings, and that's exactly what you'd probably find in the industrial areas of Germany or, or wherever this game takes place. It's really cool. So yeah, the Eurotrain Simulator, bravo to the developers, and also you, you sh really should support these guys if you like their game. I mean, they're doing it right, they're not having the crappy fuel timers and the pay to proceed crap. They have one flat rate, it's like $1.25, remove the ads from the game, and that's about it. Go support these guys, uh, buy their game, the link to this is in the description, it's absolutely free, but again, you can pay to remove the ads. Another thing that I forgot to mention earlier is that they're releasing a version 2.0 pretty soon it seems and uh, with that it's gonna come the tier 3 that's uh, Italy I believe and along with that it's gonna come cloud saving but most importantly there's gonna be a realistic derailment system. 
that's right, the trains are then going to be derailable. So that's going to be awesome. And you can expect some derailment simulation videos from me. Hell yeah, that's going to be so fun to just derail these trains. I mean, driving a train is fun and all, but when you can get to derail a train and see it skid out into the dirt and become a 4x4 off-road vehicle, that's where the real fun is. Now I'm going to do my absolute favorite thing in this game and uh, this is how you do it. You just go to quick mode, free room, kind of a new feature as well. You can basically drive around forever, so that's cool. A number of cards, it doesn't really matter, but this is what matters. Put on a thunderstorm and do it at night. As you can see, there are a lot of settings here, a lot of uh, different weather and stuff, and these guys do it really well. Let's show you what I mean by that. Just look at that. Open the door, get the passengers in, but just look at the atmosphere in this. This is something special, the way this game just, it, I mean it's just so simple, but the way it captures this thunderstorm and this rainstorm, it's just so well done. It's just such a nice little world, I mean, the atmosphere, the sound design is really nice. Look at the particle effects, just look at the rain, look at the lightning, it just captures this thunderstorm so well, trotting through the rain like this and just enjoying that, like, that is just such a cool thing. This perfect European nighttime thunderstorm. It's so romantic, there's something romantic about it, I don't know, it's kind of weird, but yeah, I really like this. We also have a pinch zoom um, in some of the views, like here, you can actually zoom in and look around, look at that, cool, look at me flash my light on these people. There we go, flash your light on them, <laughs> so yeah, uh, that's a really cool thing, I can absolutely do this for hours and hours just because it's got such a nice atmosphere about it, I wish these guys would, uh, maybe this is a suggestion for you guys. Make a blizzard, make a hailstorm, make something crazy. But um, you guys really did this part. Well, this is my favorite part about this game, just driving through a thunderstorm. Because it was done so well. I mean, this game is a simulator game, but it's on Android. And it's doing so much. I mean, it doesn't have the power of a PC behind it, or an Xbox, or a PlayStation. It has a mobile phone. But yet it just, it works in its own little world. And I mean, everything just works with it. Even the little physics, when the train goes around a turn, it leans correctly, like in the railway train would would lean. So that's cool, so kudos to you guys. Um, here we go and there the rain stops when you're inside the tunnel, of course, and it starts again when you come out. So yeah, this is definitely worth a try out. I can recommend this game a hundred times. Um, the link is in the description. Click it, go get it, download it, and um, enjoy it, hopefully. Try this, try this rainstorm, put on some headphones and just go do a nighttime thunderstorm. It's worth it. So yeah, thanks for watching, like and subscribe if you want more, until next time, the Pyrotechnician is out.